let us now see LR circuit with AC source. Now again AC source V is equal to V naught sin omega T is connected across an inductor and a resistor. So consider a circuit with resistance and inductor connected in series with an alternating source of potential V. Now here VR is the potential across the resistor. VL is the potential difference across the inductor. Now potential difference depending on the current I, they are not in the same phase. Across resistor, the current and voltage will be in the same phase. But in across inductor, we remember potential is ahead of the current. So suppose if the current is flowing in the circuit is I, the potential difference across the inductor will be VL. Across the resistor, let us call this potential difference across resistor as VR. So if current we take it in the phasor diagram in this direction, voltage is also in the same direction. But for the inductor, voltage is ahead of this current. So the voltage figure will be VR will be in the direction of I, VL will be perpendicular to direction of I. Resultant voltage we can get in this direction. This is angle phi. So the current I is in this direction. V is the voltage across LR circuit. An angle between them is tan phi. Consider a circuit with a resistor R and an inductor L connected in series with an alternating source of potential V. If VR and VL are the potential difference across resistor and inductor, then by phasor diagram we have RVL in this particular direction. So V will be equal to under root of VR square plus VL square. Current and voltage across the resistor are in the same phase. But current and voltage across the inductor, voltage is ahead of the current by a phase angle 90 degrees. So taking this VR, this VL generated the value of or get the value of V, the supply voltage. V will be equal to under root of VR square plus VL square. That's equal to under root of IR whole square plus I into XL whole square. So we can calculate impedance value from here. Z is equal to V by I. So it can be written as under root of R square plus XL whole square. So Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL is nothing but omega L. So omega L whole square. This is the impedance of LR circuit. Now by this figure, we can calculate the value of tan phi. This is the angle phi. So tan phi will be equal to VL by VR. VL is nothing but I into XL. VR is I into R. So similarly, we can calculate tan phi from the figure. Tan phi is VL by VR. That is nothing but I into XL divided by I into R or XL by R. So tan phi can also be written as XL is omega L divided by R. So we know now tan phi. So we can calculate the peak value of current. Peak value of current will be I naught is equal to V naught by the impedance Z. V naught by Z. Z value we know under root of R square plus omega L whole square. So now I know the value of I naught, I know the value of tan phi. So if you see carefully, the total potential supplied is V. V is equal to V naught sin of omega t. The current flowing in the circuit is I and that I is equal to I naught sin of omega t minus phi because here the current is lagging behind the voltage. Phi value, we can get the value of tan phi. So phi will be tan inverse omega L by R and as well as I0 will be V0 by Z. V0 is the peak value of voltage. Substituting, we can get the value of I. So similarly, we can see here, how is the impedance varying with respect to omega. So if omega is in this direction, let us take impedance like this. Then Z value with respect to omega. Z is equal to under root of R square plus omega L whole square. Starting with the value of R, when frequency is 0, it will go on increasing as the value of frequency increases.